Well, hello, my friends. It's Sean Petit, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this gorgeous, grungy goodness. It's so good. I'm starting my project on a 12 by 12 MDF board, and I'm using the Vintage Ledger Paper Collage Pack that will be on sale this week, along with another one. I'll share more about that at the end of the video. But I am putting all of my papers down with um, Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium getting a good coverage on top and bottom and um, I'm just kind of placing them really randomly except for one of the white pieces that will be behind the window um, but otherwise I'm just putting them down kind of randomly and just getting a good coverage on all of them. I've got the window stencil out here and I'm using Nova Colors um, texture paste and um, I'm just getting my window down and then I will use the Nova Color texture paste all over the place. Just lots and lots of texture. So much texture on this piece that I had a hard time even using my charcoal pencil to do any shading. So with my window stencil, I just, I, you know, I love just using my stencils exactly how I want them. And so I can tape an area off and just use it, make it square. Um, stencils are so, so versatile. And then I wanted to just kind of drag out some of those hard edges on the window, um, just to kind of make it not so perfect and um, more um, uh, free, kind of free, uh, design. Then I'm just going to use my palette knife and do some skipping all over the, uh, the background, um, making sure to leave space so that that wonderful paper shows through. And I am using, this is the Paris clock and just getting my clock down. Every single piece, every single thing has meaning um, for this uh, piece. This is the vintage pattern stencil. Again, more texture. I wanted just as much texture I, as I could possibly get to add interest. And again, I'm gonna come back over this with my palette knife and kind of mess it up because I didn't want it to be too perfect. I wanted it to be super grungy. This is the vines stencil and um, just kind of laying it out and just taking parts of it that I really liked. Sorry that my piece is so far down. <laughs> I had it close to me so that I could see where I was going. But you can see here how I'm just taking parts of that vine stencil and using it. And all of this texture just plays a huge part in the piece because it all shows up so beautifully. And so now I'm going to add, of course, some crackle because I just love it. This is Deco Art Crackle Paint. Um, it's my favorite and it just is perfect every single time. Now I'm going to just kind of get some color down and this is um, Blix Matte Acrylic in Warm Gray. It's a great color, um, but I'm, I'm using it kind of watered down so that all that texture shows through so that it seeps into all the crevices. Um, but I wanted to just kind of warm it up a little bit. Um, I will continue to pull back the paint over and over again to reveal that texture, but just kind of really adding some shading around the window, adding some depth and then just getting a real quick wash of that warm gray all over. I'll do a quick wash and then I'll come back and add some darker areas around the edges and around the window. Thank you. 
Now I've got some alcohol on my rag and I'm just going to come back and pull up some of that paint. And it's, I love this technique because it just reveals all that texture. It shows it off um, and it continues <clears throat> to kind of keep it light. Um, and I, I do this over and over again throughout the piece where I'll just continue to put a layer down and then kind of pull it back up just so that the paper show, the texture shows, all of those layers show through. Um, this is Liquitex uh, Acrylic Ink in Muted Gray. And I'm just using lots and lots of water on my brush and just kind of um, getting kind of a marbly effect, um, kind of from one side to the other. And remember when you use your acrylic inks, it always dries lighter. Acrylic inks are perfect on texture because it just settles in around all of that texture so beautifully. Settles in the cracks of the crackle paste paint. Um, it's just so gorgeous. And it has this real organic, natural feel. All of the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box so you can see all of the details and pictures and links and collage packs and all that good stuff. Um, that link will be down below. This is um, Liquitex Acrylic Ink in Muted Green and this is such a gorgeous color. It's kind of green, blue, um, uh, it's I just, the muted series in the acrylic inks are oh, amazing. The colors are amazing. I added a little bit of Dr. Phil's um, kind of teal color, and it wasn't necessarily my favorite, so I went back to the muted green. I'm using a combination of uh, Deco Art Fluid Acrylics in Cerulean Blue and a little bit of Liquitex um, Prussian, Prussian Blue. Prussian blue to get kind of that blue sky uh, feel and then I added just a tiny bit of white and gray in there to get some depth and some variation of color and here I am again pulling back some of that um, paint that acrylic ink this is the swish and splat stencil I wanted something unexpected in my vines um, a little bit of playfulness and so I used that um, that kind of vi uh, swish and then coming back with my vine stencil with some olive green Arteza's olive green in their craft paint series their classic craft paints and I also added a little bit of um, I think it was dark teal in the Arteza craft paints as well um, into my vines and into some of the leaves Kind of free form just adding some vines and lines to that to just kind of make it full And I dripped some of my paint onto my piece and I liked it so much that I just continued to add some splatters. <laughs> And 
Now I'm using a combination. I've got some um, Liquitex acrylic ink and transparent raw umber, and I wanted it to be a little bit stronger, so I used some just regular raw umber from Lucas and watered that down. <clears throat> and the combination of the two is, is gorgeous. And again, I wanted it to be real loose, and so I've just got a watery brush that I keep dipping my brush back into my water and picking up some of that mixture of acrylic ink and paint um, to kind of give it an aged, grungy feel, of course. And to tone down that window, too. The window was so white. And I knew I was going to be putting a quote on here, so I left some of those areas intentionally lighter. And again, I'm coming back in with alcohol on my rag and just kind of picking up some of that paint. And I wanted the vines to look a little rustic and worn, so I went over it with some um, uh, alcohol on my rag and just kind of lightened up the whole thing and revealed the texture underneath. using some Liquitex Fluid Mac Medium to put my butterfly down and my quote. I printed my quote out on tissue paper. And now I'm going to kind of begin the shading process. And I typically will shade um, most of my pieces with my charcoal pencil. But this was so difficult to shade um, because there was so much texture that I could, I could hardly get my lines in there. So I, I went back and forth um, trying to get my shading and, and, and kind of freeform some lines around the vines so that I could kind of beef them up and kind of give them depth as well. And then just do some outline of leaves and vines. Um, but they just weren't showing up very well because um, I couldn't get good contact with my charcoal pencil. So I ended up going to my black soft pastel to kind of give me some beefier lines. And I'm going to use a variety of different colors, um, kind of browns, umbers. Uh, I've got kind of a purpley gray soft pastel that is just gorgeous. Teals, whites and blacks for additional shading. And um, I went to the brown because I couldn't get that my charcoal pencil. And I'm so glad that I did because I love how it looks. So don't forget all of the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box.
I'm just adding highlights and low lights on my leaves with whites and teals and that kind of thing. I hope you stick around for the conversation at the end. Um, I just explain all of the meaning behind each element in this piece and um, how I got to this quote and what I was um, uh, kind of journaling out this week. So it's a good one about doing better when we know better. Um, so I hope you stick around for that conversation. And then I'm going to kind of finish up my shading, adding some of my lines and vines and that kind of thing. I'll shade around the edge of my piece with my black um, soft pastel. And then I'm going to add just a few little highlights with my swish and splat stencil. Um, just some additional um, marks and things like that. And that's really it, my friends. So I hope you enjoyed today's project, and if you did, subscribe and like and share and hit that up bell so that you get notified whenever I have a new video out, and that happens once a week. And that is it. So thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next week. Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. You get to um, see my actual face today instead of just my hands. Um, just kind of changing things up and um, letting you see me a little bit more than just my hands. Uh, most of the time, I don't do face to face like this because, you know, I don't have any makeup on and my hair is pulled back in a ponytail and I've been creating all day. But you know what? It is life. It's real life. It's not glamorous over here. Um, and I'm sure that you guys can all relate to that. And it's just about being human and vulnerable. And so here I am. <laughs> um, but uh, just a couple of things about <clears throat> today's, <clears throat> today's project. So um, I went over everything throughout the video, of course, but I absolutely love this texture. Just, they, there is so much texture on here that I had a hard time even using my charcoal pencil on here and I switched to my soft pastels because I could get better coverage. Um, but I absolutely love everything about this. I love the colors. I love the alcohol inks that I used, um, the vines, just all the different layers. I absolutely love it. A um, couple of things real quick. The stencils that I use, there are about four of them. Those will be on sale this week. And then um, the collage packs, there there was two that I used. In the very background, I used the Ledger collage pack. And then I used, this is a new one in the shop. And this is the Vintage Muted Butterfly. And you get this page and you get a bunch of other ones. And they're larger. We've taken this apart and made it larger. Um, but there's a ton of new collage packs in the shop or coming to the shop. So keep an eye out for those. They're good ones. So good. I can't wait to create with all of them. Um, there's a new workshop coming um, called Feathered Friends. And it is so much fun. Um, we're editing now and hopefully in a couple weeks we'll have that out to you. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I am super excited about it. It has been so much fun to <clears throat> create these different um, feathered friends. I won't give too much away just yet, um, but so much fun to create that. And I can't wait to see you in the classroom when it comes out. Um, and I think that's it for, for the things that I need to tell you. 
So for this piece, the inspiration. So the quote says, do the best you can until you know better, and then when you know better, do better. That's by Maya Angelou. So um, do the best you can until you know better, and then when you know better, do better. It's, it, it's so simple and clear, it feels not, not okay, right? It's just so simple. And so what brought this about this week was, as I was do, doing my journaling like I do every day, every week, um, my prayer and journal time, um, I was just kind of going over some things with the business and relationships and different things like that, um, goals and different stuff. And um, I, I started second guessing myself and I, I was saying things to myself like, I wish I would have done this differently, or I should have done this differently, or why did I do this this way? And um, I can do that to myself a lot. And um, I think often we hold ourselves more accountable and more to a higher level of standard than we would anybody else. And we say things to ourselves that we wouldn't say to anyone else. And so I was kind of in that, in that place of just kind of questioning myself. And um, I started thinking about this quote because I've, I've read my Angelou's books over and over and over and over. And this quote came to mind and I pulled it out and I was like, yeah, Sean, hello. Uh, super simple, right? You, you only knew so much when you made the decisions that you made. And now that you know more, you will do better. And um, I know as a parent, oh, I can do that a lot. Like, oh, I should have done things differently. But we, we do the best we can where we're at. And that's all we can do. That's all we can ask anybody to do. So that's all we can ask ourselves to do. And um, so as I was kind of going through this whole process of, you know, this journaling, I wrote down... Um, don't get trapped by the past. And then I also wrote down, no looking back, only looking forward. And man, if we could do that, right? Ah, if we could do that, no looking back, only looking forward. And I wasn't sure if I was going to put that on this piece or use the quote, my Angela quote, and this seemed to fit better. But all the elements in here are repre represent those things those two phrases like no no looking past only looking forward that's this window that's my window to the future that's my window to doing better that's my window to better things and um so that's what the window represents and then the butterfly was this so when i read maya angelou's um quote and and it said when you know better do better there was no, there's no judgment in that quote. There's no judgment. And when I thought about no judgment, it felt so freeing and so just like, like I could float. Like I'd taken off that weight and um, I was free. And so that's what the butterfly represents. And then I did this, the, you can barely see it, but it's there. The texture, the leaves and the texture of the clock. Um, the clock rep represents time. Sometimes... We just don't know what we don't know. And thank goodness for that, because if we knew all the things, sometimes we wouldn't even begin if we knew how hard something was going to be or if we knew what parenting was going to be like or if we knew what, how hard relationships would be. Sometimes if it's, it's a blessing that we don't know what we don't know. And so that clock represents that time of I just, you just don't know. And then the vines represent growth. So as we grow, we learn, we gain wisdom, and we know better. And when we know better, we do better. And um, so all of these pieces came together in such a beautiful way this week. It was so inspiring. It was so freeing. And um, I knew right away as I was writing everything out, how it would come together and what the things would represent and how it would how I would put it together. And um, I just love it. So my friends, I hope that you can hear that message of 
simplicity, that message of simplicity of when you know better, you do better. No judgment. Stop judging yourself for the things that you just didn't know. The things that you did that might have hurt somebody or you might have done wrong or whatever. You just sometimes you just don't know. But when you know better, you do better. When you know that what you say hurts somebody, you just don't do that anymore, right? You learn and you grow and you get wisdom. And when you know better and you do better and it's no judgment, there's we're taking that backpack of things that we carry with us, that judgment, that criticism, those voices, we take that off when we lay it down and we don't look back, we only look forward through our beautiful window, um, it's freeing. It's so, so freeing. And that's what I want for you today. I want you to be free. And I want you to not say the things to yourself that you wouldn't, don't say the things to yourself that you wouldn't say to anybody else. Love yourself like you would love others. All right, my friends, that is my inspiration for today. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I hope it's restful and peaceful and free. I hope there is freedom in your Sunday. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.